Jennifer, you go ahead, and I, then we will go with I, I'm going to explain the, uh, the voting machinery, because <laughs> I'm pretty clear on that, and then let them answer the, uh, the political questions. Um, the voting machinery is the, the, the way it works, uh, you know, the, the, the several questions about can you know the secrecy of the vote, basically. First of all, the Lista Tascón that uh, Maria referred to was based on signatures on a recall petition. These were open signatures. It was never based on the vote in the voting machines. That's never been shown to be violated, the secrecy of the vote in none of the elections since they've used these machines starting in 2004. So that's the first thing. The second, um, can it be related, the machine, can it be related, the thumbprint to the vote or the ID number to the vote? It cannot. The, the tally sheet that's printed out of the machine uh, only shows the totals. It does not list each individual vote. That's kept inside the machine. To look inside the machine, there are, there are several different steps of security. One of those steps is that what they just did last week was they had an audit of the software of the machines. That's the source code. They went through the source code that gives the directions to the machine of what to do. In that source code, it tells the machine to randomize the votes and to randomize the IDs, numbers so that they're all randomized and they can't be matched up. Plus, those two things are kept in two different parts of the machine. So you can't see them together. To open the machine, what they do is after they look at the software, then uh, and the political parties are in there, their technicians are in there looking at the software. When everyone has finished that audit and agrees, they have a three-part key or clave that is made of both political campaigns contributing some of the numbers and the Electoral Council contributing some of the numbers to make one key. And so to open that, then you have to have all three parties together contributing their numbers to be able to open that. In addition, that's a number that is put in each, that clave is put in each machine once yeah. the software is agreed on and they, uh, and they manufacture the machine then after that with that number. In addition, there's another number for each machine. And there's a, a digital signature for each machine so that the computer at the central headquarters has to recognize that that digital signature was the correct one for that machine when it's receiving the transmission of the vote tally. If it doesn't match, then that central, it, you know, if, if somehow someone has opened that, it'll be um, clear. So there are three different keys in there controlling the software of the machines. And so nobody can actually get in without all the parties together to look at the vote, the identification. Well, first of all, they're never matched together, the identification of the person and the vote, because they're randomized. But even if you wanted to go in there and look at the random list, you'd have to have everyone together to be able to open the machines. Okay, So I, I, I think that the secrecy is, um, is pretty much there. And in terms of the small fraud, you know, the, I, it seems, uh, particularly now with the cop de huella that is supposed to, um, as I said, it should prevent double voting or impersonation um, of voting. Um, there's, uh, there, there's still a, a slight um, uh, flexibility in there in that there are a few, there are, uh, a certain number, uh, I don't know the exact number at this point, a certain number of people who had not been able to give their fingerprints yet or whose fingerprints were not of good enough quality that the machine may question it. So when they go and they put their fingerprint in, it may say that fingerprint doesn't exist or, or it's not good enough quality to read. Those people will still be able to vote um, if they have the, their ID card that shows them. And in that case, um, the president of the MESA does have the authority to um, open the machine for them, to the voting machine, <coughs> to permit them to vote up to uh, they're deciding the exact number. I think it's five times during the day they can do that. So there's a, the machine will allow that to happen about five times during the day. So there is that slight possibility. That is to, uh, 
to make sure that everybody does get to vote and is not prevented from voting in case their, their fingerprint is of bad quality or missing. 